Hello, hello. Good morning. Uh, so we have some alley work and noise going on, so we're going to do the best we can. But I am Kim Clinkenbeard, and I work with women 40 and over in my mind and body transformation program, and I teach one-on-one -on -one, uh, training sessions as well. And this is Carol, a new friend and a <laughs> client, and we wanted to talk just a little bit about her experience and her journey and all of the things that she's accomplished so far and not only celebrate her and praise her but um, let her speak to you this might speak to you I know a lot of times um, change is scary and it can um, even though it's maybe something that we know we need desperately in our lives it can be scary because it's unfamiliar and unsure we don't know what to expect there's a learning curve it's something new and different and so we will end up sometimes getting stuck in the sameness, even though we know it's not good for us. So hopefully this will uh, speak to you and inspire you to reach out if that's you know something you've been thinking about, but also just to be courageous and make a change if you need to. So I'm going to leave that with Carol and let her tell us a little bit about why she decided to make that change and sign up. I decided to join the transformation program because I really felt stuck. Um, I had tried a lot of different ways to lose weight, some mainstream, some were pretty extreme. I would be successful, but I would get, always gain the weight back. Some of the programs just weren't things you could sustain in a normal life. Yeah. And I was so frustrated and just felt like there wasn't anything I could do and I'm trying to remember how I heard about Kim's program um, I think it was on Facebook Mary Coyne yeah if I can say a name sure of course um, she, I saw a post of hers and Mary's a person I really respect and I thought well, I'm gonna check this out and I'm really glad that I did because what the transformation program the main thing it taught me is your brain controls your body the way you think controls what you do. It really doesn't matter what you desire or want. If you don't get your brain to believe that you want that, it's not gonna happen. And I just always had so much anger at myself for not succeeding. And my weight was just something I thought about constantly to the point I was sick of it. And that is one thing the transformation program did for me. I don't do that anymore. I weigh in the mornings, I look at the number and I think, okay, I should maybe change this. Like Kim said, it's data. Yes. It's not a judgment. And before, <laughs> yes. it had been a judgment. Yeah. So that was so freeing. And I started the transformation program back in October and it has stuck. Yeah, I, you know that I still you know and and she and there's things you're supposed to do and not do like drink your water yeah you know don't eat certain things but it's not restrictive you can do it anywhere you can do it at a party you can do it Christmas Day you know it's if you get the right mental set the second thing that really stuck with me is counting your wins yes I am such a failure counter you can't do that you're not going to succeed or if you do succeed you won't you won't stay there and i can remember people tell me oh you've lost weight and i'm like yeah now i just have to keep it off you know i couldn't even take the compliment so um learning to count your wins and they might be you know one might just be i got my water in today mm -hmm. or i did my workout today and other days are man i ticked them all off i did it all but Every day is different. Life throws different things at you, and you have. It, I think the transformation program teaches you how to go with that flow of life and still yeah. accomplish the goals you want. And then in January, I started training with Kim, and that has been an adventure. Part of me, <laughs> part of me, feels like I've exercised a lot of my life, and I always did it wrong. Well, <laughs> but. You're teaching correct form, and that's yeah. so important. And I can tell a difference. I correct myself now in my posture. Instead of sitting like this, 
you know, I'm up. And I mean, I do. And I do fall down sure, sometimes, yeah. especially if I'm at my desk typing, but I catch myself and I'm, I'm pulling myself back up into perfect posture. And it's a, I'm still trying to perfect it. It's not all the time, but I catch myself. Yeah. And I perfect it. And I'm doing more as far as squats and arms, and I, I'd, I'd make a muscle, y'all would laugh, but I can no. feel it in there. You, you know? can see it when she's working out. <laughs> yeah, it's I coming. I can feel it. So those things make me feel good about myself. And, you know, am, am I at the weight I want to be at right now? Not yet, but I feel it's, it's possible. It, yeah. it can happen. I just need to keep. Keep going, keep going, making those small, consistent changes, and mm -hmm. keeping the proper mindset. That because people yeah. say it's a it's a journey, it's a lifestyle change, and that is so true. And I had never found one that worked for me. You don't have to count calories, right? You don't have to write down what you eat unless you want to, but that makes it so much yeah. more s simple. It simplifies it. Um, and I'm all for simple. I like sure. simple. So yeah, and and you know, I think sometimes the wins will translate into goals reached that you didn't even realize you mm -hmm. had, um, and your abilities that you were like, I didn't even realize I needed to be able to do this until I could do it. And you might not even realize that you couldn't do it until you were able to do it. And one of those was a couple weeks ago. Oh, yes, yes. With the car, you want to tell that? Well, I'm at the upper end of Kim's age group, that, as she advertises it, um, and I've just retired, yeah. and I'm watching my husband's mother and my mother, who are in their 80s, or one's in their 90s, just get weak, not be able to get up off chairs, mm -hmm. and, you know, that, that to me determines how long you get to live independently. I'm in the medical field and I know that to be the truth. If you can't get up out of a chair, you can't live independently. You're gonna to have to have help. So I'm thinking, you know, I better get started, <laughs> seriously. And the other day I have an expedition and it's a high step and I stepped up into it without pulling up and without thinking about it. And to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I just stepped yeah. up on this and didn't have to grab the handle and pull myself up. So that was a huge win for me. Huge win because mm -hmm. it just proved that she is improving in the strengths of her legs and her joints and also her balance yes. and her core. her core. And it's we do short 30-minute workouts. They're very focused and they're intense, but they're only 30 minutes and you started with only twice a week. Mm -hmm. And she has now since recently um, started coming three times a week, but she got that win from twice a week. Yes. And then obviously incorporating throughout life the perfect posture and incorporating the functional training we learn in our workouts together into real life situations because hopefully that is the purpose or my purpose for the workouts. I try to um, make sure that the my client understands how this is going to benefit and affect them in a real life situation. Why are we doing this exercise? Well, because it has this life situation around it that we need to be able to do. So we another thing that I've really started to learn is I have much more body awareness. Yes. Um, that, you know, if my shoulder's hurting, well, what, how's my posture? What did I do to, to strain that and a lot of times it's just be you know being aware of your body and how it's supposed to function yeah. that your core muscles are very important to a healthy back to you know being strong when you walk your core is so important and I'm still building up strength there and uh, will continue to but it, she has she has so much knowledge um, in exercising, just in topics that women encounter in life and how to deal with them. And, uh, you know, when we hit our 40s, just changes that we all go through and yeah. they can have a, a, a hard effect, but she helps you navigate that. Yeah. And, and, you know, we do a lot of focus with mindset yes. and, um, and what data collection is and what it should be and what it represents and how to use it. So it's not just um, 
you're, you're never supposed to eat sugar ever again for the rest of your life. It's more of a, how do we eat sugar at those events and functions and life celebrations where it's a part of without mm -hmm. just being panicked, without yes. having this, I was like doing so good, yeah. now I failed and I'm just going to have to start our, all over. Yeah. Um, we pick up where we are, we move forward from there instead of feeling like we have to start completely at step one over and over and it's just a continual process and circle of improvement that I'm just way. giving up yeah you know? i mean normally yeah. dear from thanksgiving to new year's day i would gain at least five pounds mm -hmm. and then i'd spend the next six months trying to get that five pounds off i lost five pounds yeah from thanksgiving to christmas i mean new year's and yeah. i was just and it wasn't even hard yeah i mean i was shocked that it happened. And you ate all the food. I did. I did. I ate on. I ate just what everybody else ate. I didn't go make a little special meal for myself. Yeah. I ate what they ate. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's something that Carol did right. So when she contacted me, she was like, I'm thinking I should wait until after the new year because I'm going to be retiring and then there's going to be the holidays. And I'm like, no, that's the perfect time to start. You want to start so that you're supported and guided and coached by me through the most stressful, difficult yeah. times of life. Because when it's not stressful and difficult, it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Don't start in the easy, start in the hard so that you have the support, you have the guidance, you have the accountability, and then you have the encouragement from the other ladies in the group. We have a cool group we of do. ladies. We do. Um, they're super fun, they're super strong-minded, even if they don't think so yet um, and they're you know admired and encouraged by everyone around them we we are creating our own little uh, circle of influence within this community uh, with the transformation program and the in the person in person mm -hmm. training and so um, everybody's at maybe a different level but someone has been where you are everybody at some point has been yeah. where you are you know I remember when I started my job 30 years ago and I walked in my boss's office and he had a, a poster in his office and it said health is the first wealth. Mm. Well, I was in my 30s and I'm like, what? I get it now. Yeah. If you, I mean, to enjoy my retirement, first of all, I've got to be healthy. And I thank God that he has blessed me with the ability to still do these things but I've got my part that I need to do too. Mm -hmm. And this has really, really been a transformation. It's aptly named. It's been a transform transformation program for me. Yeah, yeah. in mind and body. Yes, mind and body. Yeah. Because they go together. They You're sure not do. gonna do one without the other. You're not, mm -hmm. and, and you can do, is, you know, there's usually something you enjoy. Sometimes it's the physical aspect. You know, the exercise may not be the most difficult part for everybody. However, um, it can be the easiest part people implement. Um, but then the rest of it, the nutrition or the mindset around it. And so we typically feel like we have one thing we can probably do and somewhat enjoy at first, but to combine them all in a strategic and um, outlined way. So it's a progression. You don't do everything at once. No, you don't. Um, it's a small step progression each week. each week that allows you to really hone those skills in without feeling so overwhelmed with, now I have 14 things I'm trying to implement in a already overwhelming busy life yeah. and so um, That's something that over The last several decades. I have really tried to hone in and it started with me uh, being overwhelmed and all consumed with The way my my weight and my body image and what my perception of how everybody else was viewing me and what I should be looking like or doing or whatever accomplishing um, and I think we all have some of that oh, to yes, a degree uh, that we bring with us into adulthood and we carry through into yes. this um, fun, amazing stage of life. 40 is. is not scary. <laughs> No, um, neither just, is 60. <laughs> yep, neither is 50. And it's it's empowering and it's freeing Yes. if you have the right mindset and focus. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we kind of learn how to do together. 
Um, I love your story. Absolutely love working with, with Carol and each and every one of my ladies that I've been blessed to get to know and have these deep, intimate conversations with and see how they are transforming in the way they think, the way they feel, the way they act, the way they move, um, and, and just the true, genuine, internal beauty that just becomes <laughs> overflowing in them as they just kind of transform and move through. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun to get to see these, these ladies grow. And I think your testimony speaks to a lot of, a lot of women because I know that we are all feeling similarly, but it's secretive yep. and we don't share it because it's vulnerable and it's hard to admit to ourselves. So it's even more difficult to admit publicly and ask for help. So I do want to encourage you if you're struggling there and you're like, I know I need to make a change, but I'm just discouraged, defeated, overwhelmed, and quite frankly, exhausted. I don't feel like I have the energy mentally or physically to learn something new in this stage of life. My brain's full. I want to encourage you just to, um, I'm going to put a link in the comments to how to schedule a call with me and reach out and let's just have a conversation about what's going on with you and if you're a right fit for the program. Um, and if, you know, we're a right fit to work together or not. But I do want to leave with Carol. I want her to end us today okay. with, um, I want you to share your, we do gold nuggets, aha moments. And I would like for you to share with them probably one of the most impactful aha gold nugget moments and a word of encouragement for a woman who is maybe struggling right now. Not to put you on the spot no, or anything. I've got one. <laughs> the most impactful thing to me that this program has done, I regret all the years that I was a slave to how I felt about my weight. Yeah. I mean, it truly dominated my thoughts, yeah. and it doesn't anymore. And this program is the reason. Um, well, let me say this. This program is a vessel for the reason. Yeah. The reason is yes, God. Definitely. I think he's God is here. the only mm -hmm. one who can transform your mind, period, and your spirit, and your body. Um, he is one that created us uniquely and individually and on purpose and he is the only one but he does use his followers and uh, vehicles to do that and this is a vehicle it's not the only one and it's probably not even the best one i am confident enough to say that there is i am learning every day but um it is a vehicle so yes but i know what you're saying yeah um just my, my aha, overall aha moment is I can make a difference in my physical abilities and how I eat um, and feel good about it. You know, have it as something that I don't dread, yeah. that it's something that, hey, this is pretty cool to do and it's, you know. And it can be kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Change can be fun. I really like the prescriptions. Yes. Every week, she, Kim gives you a prescription, and that's what you do this week, and they build on each other. So it's not like you're joining a weight loss program and you yeah. get everything thrown on you, um, and then you start, like she said, trying to figure it out. So just my aha moment is the mental, where you are mentally is so huge, and this program really addresses that. Love and it. helps you with that. Yeah. and. We own our ages. Yes. So, how old are we? I am sick. I turned 65 in December. So, so it is, in other words, you are never too old to make significant changes. You no. should, hopefully, one of your goals in life is to grow and change, not just physically in a healthy way, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, I hope that that is something that I always strive to do that I'm never stagnant in that growth and mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be massive growth it can be little things but over the course and span of your life it adds up hugely and the impact that you have um, 
over your friends, your family, strangers. Yes. Someone sees Carol at 65 <laughs> getting in her tall expedition without losing balance or really having to rely on something else inspires that person that, hey, you know what, maybe I can do that too. And I want to just say that you can. <laughs> you can totally do it. Um, so I do thank you so, so much for oh, being sure. vulnerable, yeah. okay. um, sharing your story. It's hard and it's scary. It is. Um, and it's, you know, you feel like your social circles kind of judge you a little bit. So I, I really do appreciate being vulnerable and opening up and sharing that. And um, she's doing so good. So everybody on here, y'all give Carol some love on all the progress that she's made. Put in the comments a heart or a clap or something and celebrate her wins. Um, it's a pleasure working with you. Well, I'm enjoying it. I really yeah, am. It's fun. It is. And misery loves company. Yeah. <laughs> So, so we get to sweat and, and get sore yes. and That's work. That's why through. I look like this. this yeah, me too. After the workout. We did. We worked out hard this morning, so I look like a maniac, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time and for watching, and I hope this inspires you. If it does, give us a heart or a like, comment below, and uh, share this video with someone that you know might benefit from it and it inspire them. Thank yeah. you, Carol. Thank you, Kim. All right. Talk uh -huh. to y'all later. Bye. Bye.